I heard you like magical girls suffering. What about angels suffering? A Kingdom of Quartz by Beaumont is about a little angel called Blue who wants to become a military angel and fight and protect everyone. But her orphanage is attacked by demons and she unlocks some dark power. Can she control it and become the angel she wants to be? Downside, as you may have noticed from that description, this volume is a little bit paint by numbers and a little bit tropey for Hero Journey Starts. Orphan Girl. Orphan Girl is bullied for being different. There's a disaster. Girl discovers special ability. Girl is super special. You would think this means that it hasn't grabbed me? But that is a lie. I want the second volume and here's why. Number one, art style. This is a gorgeous manga. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see the inspiration it's taken from 17th century angel paintings, from how soft the style is, from how the younger angels have just little cherub-like wings, and how older ones have these big majestic wings. Even some of the poses and things I feel like were pulled straight from some of those paintings. Absolutely gorgeous read. I also love its use of lighting in some of the scenes. Whew. Generally very good, very pretty treat for the eyes. Second, world building. It does sprinkle it in here, there and everywhere where it can without detaching from the story which is great but there's one particular bit I think when the first chapter ends there's like an info page which tells us about the four ruling families of angels and their names are Quartz, Lovecraft, Alrun, and Lucia. So if you know your lord, you know anything about angels, and you know anything about anything in the creepy world, you know, you know that those names are interesting. And it's interesting enough for me to want to pick up the second volume. In terms of my recommendation to you, I'm going to read you a small sentence that's on the back of the book, which really does cover what you're getting into with this. A scrumptious new dark fantasy for fans of Puella Magi Madoka Magica and Witch Hat Atelier. Highly recommend. Thank you for watching!